Hello and welcome to Progressive Education Society's Modern College of Pharmacy, Nigri Pune. Hello, myself Dr. Bhushan Pimpre. In this video, we will discuss about foaming index. How to calculate foaming index? What is foaming index and what is the importance or what are the significances of this foaming index? In this experiment, we are supposed to determine the ability of foaming, uh, foam formation of crude drug. Crude drug in sense, the drugs obtained from natural sources, whether they are going to show foam or not in water, that is what we are uh, going to determine in this experiment. Now, any crude drug that has a specific phytoconstituent called saponin, Saponin is very responsible to uh, is only responsible for formation of foam. So uh, a crude drug that has saponin will definitely show foam in water when it is shaken. Now the foam will should persist for minimum 15 minutes, especially for this experiment, in order to uh, calculate the foaming ability. So uh, generally what happens is if we uh, shake the crude drug with water it will definitely form foam but this foam is uh, does not persist for at least uh, up to one minute it uh, subsides within 10 to 15 seconds but the foam that persists for more than 15 minutes uh, is the foam generated by the saponins so this is what we are going to determine in this practical now it is very uh, simple fact that the crude drugs that have higher saponin content will definitely show more foaming index. Now why should we uh, do such kind of practicals that is why should we shake the powder with the water and determine the foaming ability. What is an important uh, importance of this practical to choose the drug crude drug as a surfactant for certain herbal soaps or shampoos we need to uh, perform this experiment only after the results of this experiment we can make sure that the crude drug can be incorporated into the uh, herbal soaps or shampoo as a surfactant even to determine the method of extraction and solvent that is that should be used for extraction uh, for that uh, also we need to determine the foaming index method in sense if you are heating it heating a crude drug in with water there are chances that froth will form and this froth will overflow the container in which it is getting boiled similarly if you are using water as a solvent definitely during the concentration of this aqueous extract uh, it will be very difficult and tedious for you to concentrate the aqueous extract as it will continuously overflow the uh, vessel or uh, beaker so we need to um, choose the solvent and method carefully before extraction and for doing that we need to have the foaming index of the crude drug these saponins generally if uh, they are consumed in higher concentration they are toxic that means they are hemolytic and they can destroy the RBCs. So a person may die or sometimes the pets may die due to this. And it has been reported that the uh, high foaming index, uh, index drugs, if they are mixed with water bodies, the fishes or the water animals have found to be um, uh, died due to the heavy contamination of this sapon, these saponins. But there are also reports and scientifically proven that saponins have in although in low concentration have anti-diabetic or anti-cancerous anti-tussive or expectorant property like uh, we will take an example of licorice that is an expectorant ginger is an anti-tussive but they both have uh, saponins in moderate concentration further Froth is desired in certain drinks like coffee or beer. The, now, if the crude drug, those are added into the coffee as a flavor enhancer, can sometimes 
uh, enrich the foaming ability so if you are choosing ginger as one of the ingredient in coffee in that case your froth will definitely uh, sustain for a longer duration same is the case with beer because most of the time the whiskey or beer it is uh, stored in certain containers or it is flavored with certain crude drugs now the froth will sometimes be enhanced in these conditions the materials required for this experiment are um, volumetric flask uh, conical flask funnel test tubes and crude drug for which we need to determine the foaming index but make sure when you are choosing the conical flask it should be minimum 500 ml because we will be boiling this boiling the contents in this flask and most of the time it happens that if the drug has high foaming index the froth is generated during boiling and this froth overflows the container and it can seize off the burner Uh, flame and the gas will keep on uh, accumulating in your lab so make sure you are using a larger vessel funnel in order to transfer the contents from one beaker uh, one glassware to another we require funnel for that purpose and here we require 10 test tubes the process is like um, we need 1 gram of herbal drug accurately we 1 gram of powdered herbal drug uh, it can be any uh, powder of ginger powder of licorice um, you can use the such kind of powders one, accurately we eat 1 gram and um, add to the conical flask to this add 100 ml of boiling water and maintain the conical flask or the contents of the conical flask in boiling state for minimum 30 minutes so that uh, all the saponins are extracted out in the aqueous solution now our job is to cool the solution cool to room temperature and filter the contents or filter the solution in 100 ml volumetric flask now there are chances that uh, when you are adding 100 ml and boiling some mls may be lost out in the vapor form so uh, when you have added to a volumetric flask you need to make up the volume to 100 ml by addition of some amount of water it can range from 1 to uh, 15 to 20 mls so make up the volume to 100 ml now the content of this volumetric flask will be called as stock solution this is our stock solution so we will be using this stock solution for next uh, process add the stock solution in 10 uh, uh, various test tubes which are stoppered and in, you need to increase the concentration of the stock solution like 1 ml 2 ml 3 ml so on up to 10 ml and adjust the volume of these uh, test tubes with water to 10 ml look at the practical in an animated format say we have taken 10 test tubes the first uh, step here uh, after taking 10 clean and dry test tubes is to number them number with the help of a permanent glass marker 1 to 10 now fill in accurately 10 ml of water in each test tube now why this 10 ml of water is because the test tubes are most of the time not graduated there is no mark of 10 ml in it so we need to fill 10 ml accurately by pipette in each of the test tubes and with the help of a marker um, mark this line of 10 ml now this is the mark of 10 ml now empty the test tubes we don't require water in the test tubes right now so empty the test tubes completely dry them and then just above this mark of 10 ml with the help of a marker a glass marker and scale put another mark of 1 cm now this 1 cm mark should be above the mark of 10 ml so now you can see here we have two marks one of 10 ml and another of 1 cm height
now this one centimeter mark we will be using to record the foam height now next step is we need to add the stock solution in various uh, test tubes in as per the uh, ml uh, written in this test tube like suppose we can we will be adding 1 ml to this test tube 2 ml to this test tube 2 ml stock solution 3 ml stock solution 4 5 ml and so on so 1 ml in the first test tube 2 3 and likewise we will be adding up to 10 ml in the last test tube and now we need to add water as per the table again so the first test tube will Uh, house 9 ml of water in order to make the solution up to this 10 ml you need to dilute this solution with water until the mark of 10 ml is reached so that is the reason why we have taken this mark of 10 ml again in this test tube add 8 ml of water to reach the high uh, volume of 10 ml so likewise third test tube will require 7 ml of water Fourth will require six ml and so on, and the tenth test tube will not require any ml of water in it. So this is how the uh, test tubes will look. Now the next step is to stopper these test tubes because we will be oscillating them in the lengthwise direction in order to generate the foam. Now this oscillation should be done for fifteen seconds. and normally two shakes per second is required so once you have uh, oscillated it for 15 second allow the test tubes to stand for 15 to 30 minutes at least 30 minutes and after half an hour record the foam height there are chances that immediately after shaking all the test tubes will show the foam but if you left it uh, leave it for uh, 30 minutes after 30 minutes this can be the condition some foam foam in some of the test tubes may uh, subside cease off or in some the foam height will be decreased now after 30 minutes you need to record the foam height this can be one of the case case one wherein after 30 minutes we have tried to measure the foam height a uh, foam height in sense uh, here we require uh, we need to observe the foam height the foam height in the first two test tube is zero and in third and fourth it is and even fifth and sixth it is not touching the mark of 1 cm now look at the last four test tubes 7 8 9 10 here the foam height is touching the one mark and in some it is even exceeding the 1 cm mark now we need to calculate the foaming index now suppose in your case is the, if this is the picture we need to calculate the foaming index the foaming index can be calculated by the formula 1000 divided by a now what is this a A is the volume in ml of stock solution used in the test tube where foam to a height of 1 cm is observed now remember foam to a uh, height of 1 cm is present in 7th 8th 9th and 10th now in this case we will be choosing only the test tube that has lowest concentration but has shown the foam height of 1 cm so in this case it is seventh test tube so in the seventh test tube we have added 7 ml of our stock solution so we will be using this 7 ml or 7 as a that means in this case our a is 7 so foaming index is equal to 1000 divided by 7 which is a which is 1 42.85 so this is the foaming index if in your case uh, even fifth and sixth are showing the foam then fifth test tube since it is having a lowest concentration so 1000 should be divided by 5 in that case there can 
can be this possibility that um, none of the test tubes in none of the test tubes the foam height uh, is has not reached the one centimeter mark so what now in this case the foaming index is less than 100 so there is no need to repeat the practical you can directly write foaming index less than 100 now there is no unit for foaming index next is another possibility that once you have completed the practical and even after 30 minutes all the test tubes can show a foam height of more than one centimeter so in this case uh, foaming index is more than thousand but you should not directly report this more than thousand you have to dilute the stock solution to twice its volume suppose you have 100 ml of stock solution dilute it to 200 ml that means reduce the concentration to half and repeat the entire experiment in order to just verify whether uh, the foaming index is uh, same or not as is the case with Rita or Shikakai there are chances that you may get foaming index more than thousand so in that case just repeat the experiment once and even if it the foaming index persists or remains constant more than thousand so you can directly write in the result but make sure when you are getting foaming index more than thousand you have to repeat it by diluting the stock solution to twice its volume so this is all about foaming index